Hi everybody. Um, right. Well, I thought you'd like to know that um, Tracy did speak to her doctor yesterday, and um, the upshot of it is, is um, she's got to go for a blood test next week. Um, check whether or not it's a thyroid gland. Um, and um, she's got to speak to um, a diabetic nurse as well. Um, and maybe I have to go on some kind of food supplement plan to try and put some weight on. So it, I don't know, it doesn't look like I'm going, we're going to be able to go next week. Um, but I did ask Pat uh, where she'd like to go next and she mentioned um, going over to Lytham, um, Lytham St Anne's and that area over there. So I, I went on um, search for sites and oh God I don't know. That I went on search for sites and up popped loads of um, places you can park and park for the night over there on that coastline. But I felt sick after I'd read the reviews on it on them. Can't we ever do anything right in this country? There's um, someone apparently there's on uh, one of the um, parks, car parks where you can stay overnight they've actually put an Elson in for you to empty your cassette somebody had pulled up that side of it and just emptied the grey waste all over tarmac and then on one of the other parks because there's quite a few well, there was um, um, a skip and somebody had literally entered, en emptied their cassette in the skip. And then I was looking at the charges. And there were plenty of photographs on there of all these vans. Just loads and loads of motorhomes packed up there. 15 quid a night. And you're parked right next to somebody. No facilities. You know, it's a joke. We never do anything right in this country, do we? So uh, I thought, well, I'm not going, I'm not paying £15 pound, um, to park for night in a car park right next to another motorhome with no facilities. Ridiculous. So um, I scotched that idea. So... Well, I just shut the thing up and didn't bother looking after that. So I haven't had another look yet. So but it doesn't look as though we're going to be going next week. Because um, Pat's got these appointments to keep. Yeah, so I thought I'd come on and have a moan. Um, which I don't often do, but... Hey, dear. What? Oh, dear. I'm lost for words. Anyway... I don't know what you'll make of this. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>